Hello everyone, welcome back to Air 5 Pro. As you can see, today I'm unboxing the TFAL Actify Genius XL 2-in-1. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Um, the first thing I'll say is that for the size of this air fryer, the box feels rather light. And this style of air fryer is quite unique to TFAL. It's quite a UK centric air fryer um, and they basically separated the cooking compartments into two levels that's why it says two in one anyway let's unbox it and see what you get in the box So, you get the usual kind of stuff, kind of m manual looking thing. Uh, you get a cookbook, but a particularly, I mean, relatively long, but it doesn't look very premium, let's say that much. You have what looks like a measuring scoop for some reason, interesting. And then we've got this separate piece that says it goes on the front of the air fryer. That looks like the handle. So I think this is the first air fryer that I've ever owned where you have to put it together. I've never seen that before. There we go, lovely polystyrene. Okay, here it is. Okay, so let's take it out of the box. Try not to wreck it. Let's get rid of the box for now. Let's put it back on here. So yeah, it, it is kind of light for, for an air fryer. You can see that the control panel is on the top there and it certainly looks very unique when you compare to other air fryers. Um, yep, so you can open it up like that. So the heating element looks like it's in here rather than you would have it on the top usually. This is the, the two in one thing. So you have this at the top that you can add stuff in. I kind of wonder what the clearance is like. The clearance doesn't look too bad actually, so you could probably cook something reasonable size in there. And you also have the main area that you can cook in, and it has this um, paddle that will basically help you to turn or to mix whatever you are cooking. And then Underneath it just looks like a typical kind of air fryer. Yeah, but um, yeah, certainly quite interesting. Um, it will be interesting and I would like to see how this air fryer actually compares with some of the other ones I've owned. Um, I wouldn't say the quality, it doesn't feel particularly high quality, I don't know. This part here, you know, feels kind of plasticky and not the best. The handle as well, it's okay, but it certainly is not the most premium feeling air fryer that I've ever had the, the pleasure of handling. And it's really heavy at the back, but it's not heavy at the front. So when you pick it up, it feels a bit weird. But anyway, I mean, it'll be interesting if like to see how it performs, but there you go. That is the un. Boxing.